for this spot, I usually use, I like the uh, KVD, the Silent 1.0 Chartreuse and Black crankbait. For this spot here, usually because the water's, you know, kind of murky. And we had a bunch of rain the other day, so, you know, I'm going to throw this for a little while, see what happens. I got my uh, Sokolay pole right there. I got a black and chartreuse jig on it. These fish really like a chartreuse color bait here. Try to catch some sockley, might get some bass. In the middle of this little cove, at maybe about 20 feet out, there's a stump. And what I usually do is I bang this uh, crankbait off that stump. I caught my biggest bass I ever caught here in this actual spot. He was only 4'2", but I mean, that was big for me and it was spawned out, so. You know, maybe it would have been a little bit bigger. Hopefully this year, I can get on something bigger. I missed about a 10 pound bass way back there around the corner in the middle of summer on a uh, Terminator buzz bait. But uh, give it a shot, see what happens. There we go. Maybe about my, oh, maybe about my fourth or fifth cast. A little one pound bass, not bad. With all this rain we had in the past few days, all this water done got up real close in there. It's almost impossible to get way up in there like I like to do for the socle. I just had a bite, but he let it go as soon as I tried to set the hook, so. Really, the only way I can get in there, I gotta almost skip it in there to get the uh, the bait in there. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we get some more bites. Maybe I figure out a little better way to get up in there. Oh, little bass on the jig. Barely had him hook. The skin hook. That's three bass so far. Getting smaller. There is a nice size alligator that's in this canal. Probably about 10. At least he was 10 foot last year. He might be 11. But I gotta keep an eye out for him as I skip this thing up in here. Make sure he don't sneak up on me and try to eat me. I just had, I'm making the same cast I just made a bunch more times before. I just had a hit so hard, he almost ripped the pole out of my hand. Didn't even get a chance. When he hit it, it just it yanked the thing like this out of my hand. It's crazy how hard these things hit it, especially right now. They got all these little bitty minnows in this canal. And they feeding on these. So, but I mean, I ain't trying to catch little fish. I'm trying to catch big fish. Hopefully we can get a big one. I'd be ecstatic. Because the biggest one I caught so far today is probably about a pound. So, give you a tip too. You got to be in tune with what your bait's doing. Like I can feel this bait kind of nailing against these little, these little cut trees that they did when they dug this canal. If for a second you don't feel your crankbait, just start reeling as fast as you can because that bass is going to come up behind it and swallow that bait and it's coming toward you. So you won't even feel them. You'll be like, what happened to my bait? What happened to my bait? And you pick up... <laughs> You start reeling real fast, you'll feel pressure, and then boom, there's your bass out on the line. So that's my little tip for when I'm fishing with a crankbait. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Huh, that hook barely. The hook was barely in him. There we go. Nice sockle. It's pretty much my favorite fish to catch. I love these. I'm bringing him home. Yes. Another nice sockle. Good. That's what I want. As soon as it hit the water. 
another nice one. And you got the black line on the nose. Pretty, pretty though. Nice size, got some good meat on it. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy these tonight. Oh, this is a multi-species day today. I got me a little flyer, a little bluegill, whatever it is, some kind of little perch. He ain't big enough. Oh, here we go. Good fish. Here we go, another one, another nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Got another nice one. I just had to change my bait because all my stuff was pretty much done with. Put water in my eye. Here we go, got another one, a little bit smaller than the other ones, but as soon as it hit the water, he was rolling with it. I'm going to stay as long as I'm smoking him. I'm skipping this jig up in here. Ha ah. ha. See? That's what I mean by hitting the dang wall. Man, but they're pretty active right now. This is awesome. It's been a little while like this, you know. Oh, nope. Not what I wanted. Shit. Good. Well, four bass. I got four or five socks that I can't even remember. Bam! Another bass. That's what I'm talking about. Another one. Getting smaller though. There we go, another one. Hell yes. Another big one. Nice size at least. Hell yeah. What's up guys? Thanks for watching. I've been catching a lot of sockley lately. Caught some bass. I got a lot more of these videos coming out like this, but I'm gonna have the dual cameras. But I need to have a new computer so I can edit this. I've been editing everything on my phone. Everything you've seen has been edited on my phone. It's not been on a computer or anything. I download it from the GoPro app and I stick it on here. But as soon as I get this new computer, everything's gonna be on an updated software system and everything else and, the, and both the cameras. And the camera I got, it shoots awesome, it's nice. I love it and y'all gonna love it too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's what helps me, drop a like. If you wanna see something or if you wanna know something, drop a comment. I pretty much reply within like 20 minutes, unless I'm sleeping or if I'm at work or something like that. But uh, y'all have a good day. Later.